Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about a tool called Wi-Fi and how we use it and how we can use this for pen testing wireless networks. So if you guys are familiar with different tools such as Aircrack NG, uh, Reaver, uh, uh, there's another one, uh, HCK Dump Tool, and there's so many others, but we can automate this process, right? And I've used this tool on pen tests, on wireless pen tests, along with my just regular tools, Wi-Fi Pineapple, and whatever other tools I use for Wi-Fi testing, right? So you can use this tool inside of Kali Linux, Parrot OS, Ubuntu. You can just download it from GitHub or wherever you want to get it. And what is Wi-Fi? Wi-Fi enables you to test against any kind of uh, wireless access point, also known as a WAP, right? So it does autom it automatically uses multiple different ways to attack that uh, network, right? The different uh, against different security protocols such as WP, you know, WEP, WPA, WPA2, uh, and WPS. So we'll I'll showcase these different kinds of attacks in this video. Remember, this is all for educational purposes. As you can see back there, that's. That is my testing lab. I don't know if you can see it because, you know, I'm off the camera right now. But yeah, so like I said, you can use different kinds of tools. I'm just reading off what tools we can utilize. Reverb, Bully, there's so many other ones, right? So that's a little bit of this intro. Let's jump onto my desktop and let's get down to business. <music> Right, guys so as you can see i'm what i'm doing right now is it was a little process to get this all set up as you can see in the back i have a laptop i'm remoting into this laptop and i have kali linux running in virtual i mean uh, vmware workstation on that laptop behind me just to give you a little lay of the land of how my network is set up so on that router back there on that little access point i set up a lab right so once we once I run this tool, you're going to see that SSID. It's called Infosec Pat CTF. So what I did for a couple of friends about a week ago before we went to B Side Orlando, I set up a little capture the flag on my on my network on this test environment, and you know did a little exercise with them. So I figured I'll just do an updated video. I uh, did another video on wireless testing. You can go check it out. It's on my channel. It's on how to crack WPA2 keys. And, you know, I do everything, like I said, it's all for educational purposes and everything is on my network locally. I'm not attacking any other networks. And remember, if you're using any of these tools against a client or whatever, make sure you have a rules of engagement before scanning any network, right? Because this, this you can get in trouble if you're doing it on a network that's not yours. Just putting it out there just for, you know, um, informational sake. All right, so there's a few steps I like to do prior. You know, obviously you can do APT uh, get update. I, I already upgraded it, but you can do update, right? And I already updated all my repositories just to make sure everything is up to par, right? So the next one I like to do is Wi-Fi dash dash kill. So this is gonna kill any conflicting processes that we are utilizing for our testing. So now you can see, let's make this a little larger. And I wanna go ahead and do a control C. So let's go up a little bit. So I'm running, this is my wireless interface card. So another thing is you cannot do this without a external uh, USB wireless card that um, supports promiscuous mode. So we have to be able to listen into packets and like, uh, they're a little far for me to grab. I guess I have this little Panda that's, um, so I have this little Panda. I do make a video on how to install that. That's a cool little card. And it looks like a, just a little USB dongle. And if I'm doing any wireless testing, I have another one back there. It's an alpha, you know, whatever floats your boat, right? In the description below, I have all my wireless cards that I utilize so you can purchase them off of Amazon or whatnot. So 
So as you can see here, so there was, it killed two conflicting processes, right? Network manager, and then it's terminating the WPA, uh, yeah, WPA, the, the process ID was uh, 37867, okay? So as we can see down here now, we can see this is the network, right? So this is the network that I have. I enabled WPS. This is all for testing purposes. So we're on channel 11. It's running WPA personal, not enterprise. So this is the network we're gonna go ahead and attack because this is my network. So it, the number is three, right? So if we come back down here, select the target, right? So number three is my target, right? So what this is doing now, it's gonna go ahead and try to do a WPS uh, crack. It cracked the WPS uh, key, which is 323-85342. And my pre-shared key is baby girl. And the reason why I use something very simple in my network is because it's on the default uh, word list. And so made it simple, right? So I got a lot of questions on my last Wi-Fi pen testing video of where's the passwords.txt. I create my own password list. And when I'm demonstrating, I'm not gonna complicate the video, right? If you know the concept behind, of what, behind what I'm doing, you can get any word list. You can use rockyou.txt. You can make your own word list. You can download you know, a, a terabyte word list off the internet. So please like, like understand what I'm doing in the video. I'm trying to explain as best as I can. But don't ask silly questions like where's, it's like me saying, where's that picture of you on my desktop? That picture of you is not going to be on my desktop because I don't own your desktop. You know, just to put it out there, because I was getting a lot of, uh, I was getting a lot of questions on where's the password.txt on my desktop? I don't have it. You're not going to have it because I'm the one that created it, right? So, all right, let me go down here. So there's, there's uh, the CTF ready exists, right? Because I already cracked this when I did that little CTF when I went, when I was doing it with my friends. And let me see if there's anything else on here. And obviously you can make, like I said, you can make your own custom word list, right? So you can make your own word list. You can, for an example, right? Let's do that. Let me, let me showcase how you can make your own word list and run the same tool, right? So let's make this a little larger. So we're going to do another Obviously, my password needs to be baby girl because I'm not going into my router, changing all that stuff, right? So what I'm going to do is nano. I, I'm going to do um, password. Look, guys, password dash YouTube, right? Dot txt. So in here, I want to make password. I want to put baby girl. Right, because that's the password. I want to make hockey because I'm a hockey fan. And I want to put hacker. I want to put cyber. I want to put security. And I want to put I love you all. Okay. And I want to do control X. Yes, I want to save that. So if I do an LS here, you can see that my password YouTube's right here. So if I cat password dash YouTube. You can see now I have this password list here, right? So I just created this. You guys will not have this on your desktop, right? So what I wanna do now is I wanna run Wi-Fi, use a specific custom word list that I just created, right? So instead of just doing Wi-Fi uh, kill, whatever, I wanna, let's just do Wi-Fi, right? Let me actually kill that, sorry. I didn't mean to do that. I want to do Wi-Fi dash dash help. So these are all the these are all the options that we have, right? So we want to say, for example, we can do dash dash kill. This is kills all the processes. I like to do that just because there's no conflict in processes. WP, uh, WEP, WPA, w, uh, WPS. Obviously, you can get a little bit of the lay of the land. Uh, PMKID captures and blah, 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 go on and so forth. So if we come back up here, we can do, I guess it's not in here, but you can, uh, you can specify a dictionary, right? So let me see if I can do man, 
Um, why fight? Why fight? So this is the man page, the manual, right? General com command, whatever. All right, so let's see if we can see in here. If we, you know what? Let me cue this. Sorry, I'm just trying to make this. I want to grep. Uh, it's like dictionary, right? So we can see here, dash dict specify a dictionary to use to cracking a WPA. For an example, you know, PHP, BB, txt, right? Got it? All right, so now let's go ahead and utilize. So we're gonna do dash dash dictionary, right? And the dictionary is going to be the password dash YouTube. Right, so now I'm going to utilize that specific dictionary, and obviously I want to go ahead and do a Control C, and I want to do the same network, which is number three, Enter, and this is going to go ahead and utilize that specific word list, you know, to try to crack this network which we, which we're on. Okay, let's give this a moment, and it should shouldn't take too long. Let's give this a second and let's see how long this actually takes. All right, so that's weird. It didn't come up with the pass the password. Let's try to do that again. Give this a second. Let's see when that network comes up. All right, so let's do a control C. So the network in this case is going to be, I just saw it. Uh, oh, so it's all the way down here now, 39. All right, and let's go ahead and just give this a minute. So let's go ahead and continue, see if we can crack any other. So now it's gonna try to crack the pin. All right, so there we go. So the baby girl was actually cracked now. And yep, there's the, this is all the information. So now if we just cat, so it's gonna be under crack.json. So let's go ahead and cat crack.json. And this is all the information for my network, so you you would provide this with your pen test report. Say, okay, this is a little snippet of my my proof that I was able to get into your network, and then what you can do is connect to that network, and say, for example, we can try to connect to it. Let's see if we. Oh, I guess network monitoring, our network manager isn't running because we're running in this in monitor mode. But anyhow, that concludes this video, right? So that's how you're able to use Wi-Fi to automate the process of penetrating your own network. Remember, guys, please utilize this in a responsible manner. Don't go ahead and go out and try to do anything bad, right? Practice on your own network, practice on your own stuff, and I don't condone any malicious and you know stuff. So yeah. Until next time, guys, have a beautiful day and hopefully you enjoyed the video. Any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments below and I'll answer you whenever I can. Thank you.